In this video, I'm going to give you a rundown and demonstrate all the updates that have come to the sidebar navigation builder for Bricks Builder. This is version 2.0 of the sidebar navigation for Bricks Builder. So this is a list of all the things that we have. We have the off canvas mode prior to this time, uh, there was a separate off canvas template. So it was, if you want to use off canvas, you had to download a separate template for it and use the Bricks native off canvas element for it. But in this version, the off canvas feature is baked into the sidebar navigation is part of the core feature of the sidebar navigation. So alongside the off canvas mode comes the off canvas push content, which enables the content of the page to move as the off canvas opens. And we also have the fixed trigger uh, just uh, for the sake of the off canvas push content. Like if you don't want the trigger to move off the screen, you could fix it at one position. Then we have a very important feature called the current menu item focus. Uh, inside the setting, you see it as the auto menu position. And this is very important because it is an accessibility issue, you know, so sometimes when you navigate to a page, it is a feature that allows you to keep track of the navigation, uh, where you are in the navigation, whenever you move to a new page. So you don't lose track of where you are in the navigation. It's a very, very neat feature. Uh, we also have the option to open the first drop down toggle. For example, uh, if you want to open the first toggle when the page loads, you could enable that option. I'm going to demonstrate all this. I just want to give you a rundown. We have the top bar right now, as you can see here, we have the sidebar navigation. Sometimes you may want to have that traditional header while you still have the sidebar. Some people want that, a few people want that, and that option has been made available. And then a very, very lovely feature. We have the overlay side by nav okay so this is uh, a transparent overlay sidebar very very useful for full width content so uh we have the top bar um you know i've already mentioned the top bar yeah and then overlay top bar if you want to have the off canvas mode and you also have the top bar you if you want to have an overlay header this option has been made available then we have rtl support uh, for those using the left to right uh sorry the right to left language model so that the sidebar will now be on the right hand side of the screen and these supports uh, everything it supports the, uh, the off canvas the push content and the overlay and we have a little feature here called headroom uh, this works only on mobile sometimes I mean this can work on the desktop because of the way the sidebar is designed but it works on mobile sometimes you don't want to scroll all the way up to be able to see your you know your your trigger the, the trigger for the mobile menu so you want a situation where you move down a little bit the header you know reveals and when you move up the header height so that little feature is there and then we have a lot of bug fixes and an improvement for responsive design we have tightened up uh, so many things so this is a very huge update so i'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate all of this so now when you get the sidebar this is the default view and this is how it looks and everything just works out of the box now if this is the first time you're hearing about this site this template this sidebar navigation builder for bricks i recommend you watch this video that I'm going to link at the top right corner of the screen. It is the, the, the initial release video and a demonstration on how to set it up. So I'm not going to go into the process of setting up this. I'm just going to show you the new feature. So if you want to know how to set it up, you will see the video in your dashboard. If you buy it or you, if you just want to see the setup video, just check this link for the release video. Now I'm going to go into my header template where I've already set this up and it's very simple setup, but I want to go into the JS settings. So the first thing I want to show you uh, is to demonstrate the off canvas. So if you you see a list of settings here, ones and zeros, one is to enable, zero is to disable. So I'm gonna first of all go and enable the off canvas. Okay, so let, let's try enabling the top bar. So you have this and I'm gonna enable the top bar. I'm gonna change that to one. I'm gonna sign the code block because that's what's, what Briggs does now. You have to sign any changes you make to the code block has to be signed and then I'm gonna save. Uh, once that is saved, it's, uh, it should refresh on its own. Oh uh, yeah, so it, it kind of refreshed, but nothing happened. So I'm gonna sign that again. Uh, so sometimes if it didn't sign properly and you didn't save it properly, uh, yeah, so, okay. So you can see you have a top bar right here. So sometimes some people wanna have this kind of configuration uh, where they have the header, a, 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 a traditional header look, and then they wanna have a sidebar here. So this allows them to have that. Uh, I'm going to turn that off, but I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate other things. So I'm going to demonstrate the, sorry, I'm going to demonstrate the off canvas. And then let me turn off the, the top bar. Personally, I don't really like it, but the option is there for those who like it. So I'm going to save this and this is going to refresh. Now we have the off canvas. So if you want to 
see so you could open the off canvas like that and just browse oh what did i do yep back here drop down drop down that go here go home and you can just click on the drop down on the overlay backdrop i mean to close it now the next option i want to show you is the push content so you enable the off canvas but you want it to push the content so i'm going to just put this here uh and then it will work so um yep so we have the push content and these are mobile responsive so if i do this you can see that it's just really cool and nice okay um so that's it and i'm going to disable both the off canvas and the push content um because i want to show you something nice so i'm going to turn that to zero and take this back to zero okay before we disable that let's let me show you what the fixed trigger you know you can see that trigger moves off the screen but if you want it to be fixed uh you can always do that and save this uh sign the code block and save and let's see all right so you can see that trigger stays one place it doesn't move off the screen okay so that's just what it does so i'm going to undo that and then i'm going to disable the push content i'm going to disable the off canvas and um the first drop down okay i'm going to enable i'm going to demonstrate that i'm going to save so when we open the first drop down uh is going to open okay so i've signed that code did i it has to show code sign then i save and this should refresh and you can see that that face drop down opens up all right so let's undo that and um auto close drop down these are default settings which what means is that if you are using if you are tapping with the key once you tap out of it it's going to automatically close so that's a default setting now so we want to go to something i'm not going to go to overlay sidebar i want to demonstrate the auto current position uh, by default that comes enabled i have a current uh link here for example i want to go to this page that's why i named this current item so this page is called full width page okay and so now what i want to demonstrate is once we get to this page the menu will automatically open and come to this item you know for you to keep track of what are you doing okay so i'm going to click here to go to that page and then it's going to just open and just open that drop down so that is a nifty feature now since we are here on this page I've set up this page because this page is supposed to be a full width page this is a page that has a full width background therefore that is why the feature called overlay overlay sidebar was introduced so if you want to have a very nice full width page but you don't want the sidebar to cover the beauty of that full width page you can enable the overlay enable this overlay sidebar and then i'm going to sign that code block and i'm going to click save and let's see what happens boom this is lovely you know i love this because now your full width page is showing through and let me use this opportunity to demonstrate the right to left support the rtl so i'm going to turn that to one okay so you can see that it shows up here this is everything still works the current uh menu item focus still works everything still works uh if it is on mobile okay you'll see that um we have it coming out from the right hand side instead of on the left so the rtl works for everything okay all right so that's mostly what uh it is uh enable headroom of course you could see that demonstrated uh when i scroll up the heading height but when i want to scroll back you can see the heading comes up so i can access this uh menu close that all right so so that headroom is just a mini feature of the sidebar navigation but it works on mobile only so these are all the improvements that have come to the sidebar navigation so go to gumroad.com and get it uh, it is really really useful for those who want to have a very neat sidebar navigation on their page and there is still an option to get all my templates uh, for bricks builder uh, for oxygen and for breakdown so this uh, all of them so if you become uh, an all access member so this is the all access membership it goes for 120 a year but there's currently a 40 percent discount for a limited time that brings it to 72 a year and the renewal you lock in that renewal for for that discount anytime you renew you can get it i'm going to put the link with the discount code you know in the description also so if you want to have, have access to all my other components uh which are you have the 
responsive sidebar navigation, which is what we are talking about. Now you have the Smart Center logo for bricks. You have the infinite scrolling cards. We have the fancy sticky header, and then we have the dynamic post light box, which is the quick view component that you can use for WooCommerce store. You can use for posts. You could use for teams. You could use for listings. All these components in all the other builders, you have access to them once you sign up for the all access membership. Until next time, do have a great day. Bye.